Alrighty guys, got another quick walkthrough for you. Today we're looking at a 2004 37A. This is a slide with that workhorse chassis. It's a pretty pretty long coach, but quite nice. One of Fleetwood's nicer RVs they make that's a gas coach. So first off, let's take a peek at the tires. The size is 235, 80R, 22.5s. And you can see your first compartment here is a propane tank and some storage right above. There's a couple imperfections we're gonna, we still need to take care of, like replacing a couple of struts for these compartments. You can see a water tank, water pump, and storage. Also see something, there's two little areas like that we gotta fix, and it's just in the process. We're waiting for that coach finish get painted. Another storage compartment here. Water fill right there. It looks like we got a furnace. Let that helicopter go by, my gosh. Water heater right there. Storage there, and then I got one more area it needs a new strut, but one other big storage right there. So here's a look from the back end. And you got a slide topper on that slide. There's not one on the other slide, we will be replacing it. This is the other damage I was mentioning, and we will fix all this completely. And this is pretty cool. So, this is your license plate. And then right behind that, you got your fuel fill. I thought that was pretty intuitive. Never have to remember what side it's on. See a backup camera up there. And here is the driver's side. A little bit of clear coat peeling up top. It does have an upgraded 5500 generator. It's pretty interesting. It, does, it is still a 30 amp power service, so it has a shutting feature for the double AC, but it does have a double AC system. And then next up, we got your dust station. Try to get out of the shade there. You can see your water lines, outdoor shower, hookups, flushes, all that fun stuff. All right, and then next we got another small little storage area. And then finally you got another similar size to what you just saw right there. Sorry about the sun, you probably can't see it. And then these three are all connected. So you got three different storage compartments here all connected into one and you can't access it from that door too. So if you have like skis or a wakeboard or something long, you can put it in through there. Like I said, replacing the slide topper up there. And overall, I mean, it's a good looking coach. You have a couple a couple decals that are starting to crack. Not much peeling yet, but mainly crack. But it does have an entry door. This is pretty cool. I got it locked. I should have, should have unlocked that. A couple steps to get in there. Once again, workhorse powered. Here's your motor compartment. Sorry about that guys, had a customer come up and want to look at this coach, I had to put you on a quick pause. Here's a quick peek of the roof, it looks great, I mean this thing's an 04, 16 years old, this roof looks phenomenal. Alright, now we got the interior lift, let's jump down and check that out. Alrighty, a couple exterior steps going up and then we got a few more to get inside the coach. Here's what you're gonna see first, right when you walk in. Man, that customer broke my door, son of a gun. And we'll go over everything. Let's start up front though. First thing to point out, I mean, I, I think the previous owner reupholstered because this, it looks so good. Nice and clean. You can see some, you know, slowly starting stress marks to where you can actually see this coach was used to an extent but very nice furnishings overall. Here's a big selling point, 13,387 on the miles. See your electronic levelers there, they are auto leveling. Overdrive, light controls. Once again, workhorse chassis, it's hard to see, but there's your backup camera. AC, generator, fans, CD player, standard stuff. <clears throat> Over on the right side for the passenger, and this little front table, and then you do also have like a little drawer there, which is pretty cool. Down below, you can see power hookups, cup holder, magazine rack, these seats do turn. Now above us, your five disc DVD changer, that's huge. Switch box, it does have a big old tube TV in 04, of course, that's what was standard. You could pretty easily upgrade that to a flat screen. All right, here's some, uh, 
Come on, zoom in. There we go. And follow on the coach if you want to see. Alrighty, your first slide. Go from that corner all the way down, right past there, right past the dinette. Now this part of the couch, it is a jackknife. You gotta do that, then lift out. So that will be a sleeper. The dinette, I do need to fix the table, but it is also a sleeper. And I did print out some information for you to check out. Let's not show you that one. There's the uh, model. And let's get that more in the sun. The brochure I found online. Oh my gosh, sorry for, sorry for my shaky hands. And then here are some tank sizes, lengths, width, hitch. Yeah. No storage above the dinette. They do have all throughout the day and night shades. So you can see your daytime there and your nighttime there. Now, turn it around. We have two individual chairs with a nice little permanent kind of coffee table, midsection table area. And then we do have your kitchen. Before we get to your kitchen, you do have one overhead storage right here, which has your battery disconnects. And of course, some light controls right there. It is a Corian countertop throughout. Then you do have a little leaf right there. The sink is pretty big for an RV at least. Hey, Sarah, number four, my friend. Oh, and that does come out too. Very nice. Sponge drawer there. Oh, check it out. Some pull out storage is there. And under here, we have a trash can. And some areas put those Corian covers. Keep going over. Cut on board. And then just four of these drawers. Over here, you got two that are that side. Don't mind all the random stuff in there. And one bigger one right there. Two burning gas stove top. And it does have an oven convection. Don't worry. It comes with the cookbook, though. Above the microwave, some more storage for people taller than me. Fantastic fan in the kitchen. That's a great feature. Your nice frosted glass compartment storage. And like I said, this was upgraded to two ACs. You can see one AC unit right there and then one directly above us. And it does have that shedding feature. And I'll show you once, my gosh, once we get back to that control panel. Here's your fridge. And this is a Dometic fridge. Now this still needs to be cleaned. I looked in it earlier. It's a, it's a little dirty. But, good amount of space. The biggest complaint with these freezer styles is it's pretty tough to get a frozen pizza in there unless you take out one of the uh, shelving. But other than that, a lot of storage. A lot more than your standard two doors. Once again, storage taller than me. You have a nice wardrobe setup right here. So this first one, you, oh, you know what? Before we even look at that, check it out. We got more stuff to look at. Sorry about the uh, focusing. It doesn't seem to be working as much as I would like it to right now. All right, some old electronics down there. And you can see cedar line, your wardrobe. Now they opted for the combo washer dryer unit, as you can see it right there. And above that, they do have a little bit of more wardrobe storage. It's pretty nice. All right, right behind us on this wall, you do have your control panel. And this has battery voltage, slide controls, and then your AC controls. As you can see, the shedding feature right there. Since it is a 30 amp, it will go back and forth between the uh, two ACs to keep the coach cool. Here is your bathroom. Glass door shower. Looks like a two by three. China toilet on a pedestal. A couple drawers. And a little bit of storage down below. No medicine cabinet. But we do have your toilet paper storage right here. And then an additional fantastic fan. And you do have a skylight in the bathroom. So if you're a little bit taller, this coach is meant for a taller person, it seems like. All the dang high cabinets. I'm going to put you on fold, on hold. I'm going to put you on hold and try to get into this bedroom. Well, that's going to have to do for now. Obviously, the track is just messed up. We need to fix that. But here is your bedroom. This is where the other slide is. From there to there. It is a queen bed. You do have, actually, you 
could probably put a king in here and take out those magazine racks. Your pedestal is, I mean, the actual, where your bed sits on isn't as wide, but you could do that if you really wanted to. And you can see windows on both sides of the slide. Storage over there. Is there storage under the bed? There is. All right, now behind me. This is in front of the mattress more storage and we'll make a vanity area three big drawers here all about that size the gentleman's storage there breaker box storage there getting a call better cancel that emergency exit and then there i was wondering i, I could have sworn there was power in here there it is little book storage right there and then finally you got three of these drawers all the same size and a tube tv so once again this is a 2004 fleetwood pacero 37a model we're selling for 35 grand i hope i gave you a good peek if you have any questions shoot me a comment down below phone number for us is 520-807-0900 my name is taylor quail thank you so much for viewing